the abode of the good arisen. Pray, pardon the intrusion. I am an attendant in the service of Empress Nadinia. Her Majesty would make a request of you. Might you have a moment to hear it? You've my gratitude, sir. Her Majesty awaits you outside. Pray, follow me. We thank you for meeting us at this late hour, Sir Arisen. There is a service we would ask of you. We require protection of both our person and our identity as we make for our destination within the city. Though Batal has no official dealings with Vermund, the countenance of its Empress is widely known. I dare say Ian, a common soldier, would recognize Her Majesty. And trouble would undoubtedly ensue should the Empress's presence be discovered. You must see to it that Her Majesty arrives at her destination unseen. We make for the Rose Chateau. Prithee see us there safely before dawn breaks. Now, let us be off. We ought not to delay our departure any further. Pray, remain vigilant while escorting Empress Nadinia. We pawns shan't follow, that you might attract less notice. True enough. Well met, son. How might I be of service? I beg you. I need that medicine. Can't help you, I'm afraid. My stock's low enough as tis. I shan't go selling what little I've got left to a ruddy beastron. But... But my wife... She's like to waste away if I don't get it to her. How very cruel. We ne'er imagine matters to be so dire. Is there aught we may do to aid this man? You have a kind heart, Your Majesty. But you cannot afford to reveal yourself here, else we may ne'er reach our destination. Perhaps the good Arisen would assist this gentleman in Her Majesty's stead. What? You in the market for some medicine as well? A likely story. I heard you whispering out there. What a good heart our Arisen has. But I shan't be selling it to you if it is to end up in Beastron hands. Well, it is a princely sum to pay on behalf of a common Beastron, but I'll take it. Can't afford to refuse a deal that sweet. The medicine's all. This is the medicine I need. You give it to me, sir. Oh, happiest of days. My wife is saved. Words cannot express my gratitude to you, sir. I shall never forget this good turn you've done me. That was neatly done, Sir Arisen. His lady wife ought now recover. We shall pray that twill be so. Come, we've a ways to travel yet before we reach the Rose Chateau. We ought to make haste. Oi, you lot, help me. I've got a soldier on my tail. If I'd known twas his house, I'd have chosen somewhere else to fill my pockets, believe me. You appear before us to beg that we abet you in a crime of your own doing. What of it? You're a beastron too, aren't you? Then you ought to know as well as I do that stealing's the only way we can survive in this city. Come on, help me out here. Consider it a favor to one of your kin. 
heartless knaves. I've wasted enough time here. I'm off. Oh, son of a... Silence, brigand. Tis off to the jail with you. Tis a hard life these people lead, that they should be so desperate as to turn to villainy. Yet a kindness granted to a man fallen so far would do little to better his circumstances. Let us press on. We have arrived at last. Thank you kindly, Sir Arisen. Now, to attend to the matter for which we have come. Prithee, await our return here. We are grateful for your patience. The matter is attended to. We have allies here in the Rose Chateau who offer their aid to our cause in secret. Namely, to create a place where the Bistrons of Vermund may live in peace. Were it to come to light that Batal has provided aid of any kind to Vermund, there would be a scandal, and all of Her Majesty's good deeds would be unmade. Thus, Her Majesty must work in secret, offering her support from the shadows. But let us not linger. I have arranged for an ox cart to meet us by the statue of the Arisen. Do you know before whose likeness we now stand? Tis that of Rotheus, founder of Vermont. <laughs> oh yes, it was none other than a Beestron who gave rise to this kingdom. Yet, in spite of this history, our people find little welcome here. Quite the opposite, as we have witnessed this night. Past wars twixt Vermont and Batal have done much to worsen Beestron standing here. Yet, as ruler of a Beestron nation, we can do no less than long for the day in which our people will be treated kindly wheresoe'er they may tread. And we would be remiss not to pray that the future you envision, as predestined ruler of this domain. We bid you good night, Sir Arisen.